citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction slash review. Today we're back with the Acolyte Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, coming off of the first episode, because obviously it's a double premiere here. Um, first episode honestly really grabbed my attention. I was into it the whole time. I was intrigued with the story so far. I think it's really good. Um, you know, we talked about it before. Lightsaber is still a little iffy on him, but... Maybe yeah. they'll grow on me. Maybe they won't. I don't know. <laughs> That's um, not like what make makes or breaks the, a show anyway. So. Exactly. I'm more concerned about story wise, <laughs> character wise, and seeing the lightsaber whip uh, in action. So yeah, I'm curious on that. That'll be sweet. So uh, I don't really have much else to say in the intro here. Let's just go ahead and get right into this episode. Last night, a Jedi was murdered on Ueda. You ate a dick, Mark. <laughs> So, did I have to say it? This joke. I'm is... so happy they made that a planet name. <laughs> you ate a dick. That's unbelievable that they made that a name. Because, well, like, at first, I thought it, I thought it was pronounced Uida, which still works. You eat but a dick. Now that I know it's Ueda, it kind of works better. So. It just, it just depends on where you have it in the present or the past tense. Yeah. <laughs> Are you currently eating one, or did you eat one before? Olega. Olega. Ol Olega dick. <laughs> there you go. A local Jedi temple. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I mean, she just got money to hand out. Yeah. So wait, is it the same actress for Osha and, and May? I'm not sure. I have to see. After uh, they're in the credits, because obviously when they when they were doing the the two kids, it was two different yeah. ones. Yeah, but that'd actually be cool if they got like two real life like twins. That would be kind of cool, I think. Is is that person floating? I couldn't tell. It looked like it looked they like were. they were doing squats. He is floating. That's so true. <laughs> Dude, with the robe going down, that is so true. <laughs> That's that's actually sick, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> dude, just so unfazed. <laughs> this is this is great. This is insane. Is he Loki the goat? They could be working together. Your town. Don't let fear affect you. Would you like me to investigate or bring Osha back to Coruscant? Go investigate. Take Osha with you. She could be an asset. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? That's such a stupid idea. Uh, Osha is not a Jedi. Agree with me. <laughs> cool. Setting course for Olega. Shut him out real quick. I'll have to look in the credits after to see if it's two different actresses. Unless in this episode we see them next to each other and I can tell. That's true. Because, like, it's hard to tell without, like, a side-by-side. -side. Yeah. I need a drink. Don't you think what we do is so, uh, stressful? <laughs> that? I wanted to save you both. What happened that night wasn't your fault, Sol. I've told you that. And I wasn't a very good student. Perhaps I wasn't a very good teacher. It was pretty good so far. It was mm. pretty good so far. Yeah, I'm liking the interactions, the characters so far. It's pretty good. This dude's still going. Oh, wait, no. This is. Oh, wait, no. This is the other dude. So he still is going. Yeah, yeah, he's still going. <laughs> this dude's insane. Master Torben hasn't spoken to anyone in over 10 years. He will speak to me. 10 years? He's been like that for 10 years? Dog. Yo. I get like sick. I've been waiting for you. What? 
What? Hold on. We thought we were doing the right thing. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Hmm. She went around. And they're gonna walk in on this. She didn't do it. My sights okay. were on her the entire time. Okay, I followed good. her when she broke off. But we skipped that, and she just talks to him. Yeah. <laughs> Yord's gotta lock in. Are you ready? He does. He's not locked in at all, dude. <laughs> that fit is not drippy. <laughs> <laughs> it's anything but. Hello. See me? <laughs> hey, uh, are you okay? He will be so pleased. Go. Smart. Look at that. You got the fucking fashion. Wanted... Wait, wait, wait. That, that, that isn't my thing. This, this is her. I didn't know what she was going to do with that stuff. If you cooperate, <laughs> we will consider letting you go with a warning. <laughs> This is pretty good. I'm actually digging the story. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm really digging the story. I have a bad feeling about this. What if this guy is lying? Of course. This you always gotta have that line. <laughs> always gotta have that line. I deserve justice. You want revenge. Look what revenge has done to your sister. Mm hmm I couldn't save her when we were children. Let me try now. She wants to kill four Jedi. Indara, Torben, Kelnaka, and you. Kelnaka's the Wookiee Jedi. Mm hmm Kind of crazy we're already two Jedi down, not even two full episodes in yet. Mm hmm What are you going to do if Soul dies at the end of this? I'm like, dude, like, there's only one Jedi left. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, he's good. This man is him. <laughs> oh, did he? He took all our knives. No way. <laughs> <laughs> you have That's crazy. The Jedi arts. Oh, Yord's just watching. Like, yo, this might be the goat. <laughs> it's like, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be me, honestly. Even from you. You couldn't tell me who he is, even if you wanted to. Get out of my head, Jedi. Mm. Oja is alive. You lie! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Shadow Lord. 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 The truth. So they thought each other. Okay, that's kind of cool. They thought both of each other were like, we're dead. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Galactic Son of the Republic. All right, dog. I don't know if you needed to do all that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. She's gonna make a big cloud of dust and dip. <laughs> Told ya. That's a, that's unbelievable. Next time, let's do this on a planet that doesn't have sand on the ground. True. So they should have had her go with them then, and just be like, "Yeah, she's alive." Yeah. <laughs> That would have made this a lot easier. Oh. Dang. You better trade insurance. <laughs> you better have insurance. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, he was just checking to see if you're alright. Oh, here we go. Dude, I can't tell if it's two different people. <laughs> Dude, it looks insane. Like, they actually look so similar. W Master Soul. <laughs> As always. A very common. <laughs> w. <laughs> w Yord. <laughs> Look at his stance. <laughs> Your old Padawan going rogue was 
is one thing, but now a trained outsider is responsible. We need to strategize. The council's just as obnoxious as before. Mm hmm. She's going to kill Kelnaka, dude. I qui do a Qui Gon and just ignore her. Yeah, please. <laughs> just ignore the council. Oh, snap. We're about to see Kalnaka too? Kofar. Dude, this is moving so fast. This actually is moving crazy fast. Why is he naked, bro? <laughs> Put some robes on, please. That's what I'm saying. How do you not have robes? So this is his home. Okay, so that's where it ends. So that's all right, his home, all right. I guess. All right, hold Did on. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get to the credits and see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many producers are there? <laughs> that's like a million of them. Oh my god! Producer. I knew it. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> producer, <laughs> co-producer. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's gonna show it. It doesn't show like that. It just shows who's in it, just but not the characters that they're with. I I'm going to assume that it is the same actress for both Osha and uh, May. What did you? Uh, how you feeling about this episode? Um, I'm honestly like, like I said, didn't know, you know, what to expect here. Um. But I'm vibing with it, dude. I think it's, I think it's great. I think the story is great. I think the casting was done really well. Too. I think everybody's doing a good job so far. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't really sat here and been like, "Oh, this sucks." Oh, why did why this? Well, I guess the lightsabers. I guess I'm still, but that's always like <laughs> been the topic of discussion, not just this show. Yeah. So I can't really just single it out to this show. But so far, man, I mean, the fighting scenes have been on point. Um. The acting's great, like I said. I mean, I, I'm I'm really vibing with it. The, I mean, we're getting all new planets, um, that we never heard of, mm -hmm. or that we've never seen. I guess it may be in live action at least. Um, so that's really cool. Like all Ueda, new... Ueda, yep. Um, <laughs> and Kofar, and I forget the other two, but but yeah, no, uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, Ulega. Ulega, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> it's it's great dude I'm, I'm actually like really excited for more of these uh episodes yeah i'm i'm i think what we've seen of uh of the jedi temple has been kind of cool like the detention level that they showed i thought that was kind of sick uh i would like to see more of it i'm very curious as to what like how deep are we going to go into, like, the Sith in this, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, are we going to get to the point where we see Plagueis or we see Tenebris? Like, are we going to physically see them? <clears throat> that would be pretty cool. I'm yeah. not going to lie. And I'm, you know what? Now that you said that, I'm kind of hoping for that. But I'm not going to get my hopes up because, like they said... You know, or, or at least, you know, what they say is that there's no, like, major cameos. And I think that would be a pretty major cameo. Uh, yeah, that's true. Now, do am I going to take the Is it technically a cameo, though, if they've literally never shown up in canon before? They've just been talked about? That's true. That's true. I don't know. Like, I... what's the definition of a cameo? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, why I don't are, like the... What are we saying here? That's why I don't like the word cameo. Like, they're can... literally the main bad guys in this time period. <laughs> Are they not allowed to show up? <laughs> I feel like they should show up. Honestly, yeah. I feel like they should. Like, not that they would meet face-to-face -face with the Jedi, but, like, we, as the audience, I feel like we should see them. I agree. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm happy I went into this with the same mindset I went into Andor with, where I literally yeah. have zero expectations because I'm like, I, obviously you know you don't know any of these characters. 
I don't know what it's going to be about. I don't know what's going on. So I go in with zero expectations. And I'm glad I did because I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, the only thing... Well, one, we talked about the lightsabers, which is just like... I don't know, man. I, like, un until you go back to almost exactly what they look like in the prequels, I am I feel like I'm going to not feel great about them. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I get what uh, you mean. Just because I think, I think they looked so good then. Mm -hmm. They look really good in the sequels, though, too. Like, the sequels is, like, the happy medium of what, of like what we have now and what we had in the prequels. The sequels yeah. is kind of like in between both of those. That's that, that's true. Um, but the other thing I was gonna say, which I saw this on uh, people talking about this on Twitter because they like they showed the first two episodes. They showed like a a bunch of the episodes to a bunch of people pretty early. So I've seen like people talk about it. The main thing that I've seen people talk about is the pacing and. I really noticed it right at the end there when we were finally seeing Kelnaka. Like, like we were already seeing Kelnaka. Like, how fast is this going? It's, dude, it's going. That's all I'm gonna say is that it's Which, going. It's it's very fast, but I do still feel like, you know, we're getting enough from the characters. You know. Yeah. Like I, I, I would agree. I don't feel like we need to slow it down to know more or to spend more time with the characters currently. I feel yeah, like it's, not... it's focusing so much on them that it is, like, the speed that it's going, I feel like it's fine at. Yeah, not every, you know, single character here needs the backstory. You know what I yeah. mean? It's just really just the overarching plot here of the, the twin sisters that's kind of mm -hmm. what we're at at this point and where a lot of the story will come from. And I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm 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 vibing with it. I think yeah. it's this could be definitely be one of the better shows for sure. Mhm. Mm it it helps that it is it's in a time period that we haven't explored yet. That that is true. It's very is, refreshing. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um and it's characters that we don't know. So you really you're coming in with a, a very clean slate of any sort of expectation so it's just like what are the first impressions and it, that's probably how you're gonna feel <laughs> yep uh but no i'm i'm excited for next week i will say i'm not quite as excited as i was like when we were watching bad batch but that's just <laughs> you know obvious reasons there well yeah you're more attached to those characters yeah that was the it, third you, season that was <laughs> yeah you had been we're going into so the long. third episode on this one <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh one thing i want to bring up just before we head out here which is kind of unrelated but i don't know i just i i've been seeing some things and i don't like the discussion i don't, I don't like what what some people are saying so this is obviously we're we're getting back to some live action Star Wars, which we haven't had any since uh, Ahsoka. Yeah, which was I I actually just saw today was eight months since the finale. Wow, that's that's so insane. it's been eight months since any live that's action crazy. Star Wars. That's crazy. Am I capping on that? I have no idea. I, I don't remember when it ended. It had to have been. It's close to a year. It's got to be somewhere around there. Well, it, it was eight months ago that it ended, but there was there wasn't there wasn't another live action thing in between there, correct? Oh no, no, it was just straight up. I think just the bad batch. Yeah, like right? it was a it was a long dry period, and then the bad batch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As long as I'm not tweaking there. So yeah, no, that, this is happened. first time in eight months we're seeing live action Star Wars. Uh. Brand new series, you know, never done before. It's not a new season of something. It's completely brand new. And I've seen this tweet. You might have seen it uh, where it was someone saying something along the lines of, I really wish TV shows nowadays would, would uh, go back to like a, a longer 
longer season format where not every episode is like super main story driven. They can go off and do things on the side while it progresses a main story like like many actual TV shows. And I think this was in reference to Star Wars shows. Wait, this might have been Eckhart's Ladder. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yes. No, I think it was. I think it was. Let me let me just make sure. Uh cuz I Oh my god, I think it was. Yes. Okay, so this is a tweet. Star Wars needs a proper TV show. 16 plus episode season, multi-season plot lines, and most importantly, most importantly a divergence from this eight-part movie approach every show has been taking. It's frustrating. They don't seem to get that. Shows need episodes where characters are fighting a villain of the week or dealing with some side issue or just not in a high-stakes dramatic situation. Look at any well-received TV show. Tony Soprano wasn't fighting for his life every week. Can't do that when you have eight episodes. Now, obviously he's talking about live action because we have gotten this multiple times with animation. Yeah. And it really, that's where you get that is animation for sure. Yeah. Which, do I disagree with him? No, I think I think a, a longer season, multi-season, yeah, live action series like the animated series that we have, I think it would be cool. I don't think it's in the budget. That's it. Could it, yeah, it could be in the budget. It could be a lot of different things. Would I like to see it? Yes. Would I prefer to see it in some situations? Um, but in other situations like this, I think it works to it. it, it I guess it, depend, it depends on what you're doing, like what you're covering mm-hmm. uh, within Star Wars. And then it could work or it could not work. Um, but yeah, I, I think that, that would be something cool to see. But I mean, I don't know. It could be budget. It could be. I just personally time think... Time constraints, it could be... I don't know what it is, but... I just personally think that animation is just always going to work better for that with Star Wars. It will, 100%. Like, S- Star Wars, especially if you want it to look good, is expensive. It is. So, it like, I, I feel like a... Like, dude... People were dogging on, like, the quality of Book of Boba Fett. You think a 16-episode season show (laughs) with multiple seasons would look higher quality than Book of Boba Fett? There's no chance in hell. They would definitely have to set aside, like, a budget for sure. So... I mean, they could figure it out, but I think that that would be a lot of work, too, on the side. It it would be a lot of work, and they they would really... You could not have Jedi in it. No, which you I could think not... honestly might be cool too. Like, yeah, that, it would lie, probably might... be a better idea anyway. Uh, yeah, but you could not have Jedi in it, and you could not be in space very much, <laughs> or at least showing yeah. space. You need the least amount of VFX as possible. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But I kind of I I wanted to bring this up because as much as I do like the live action shows, I think the animated shows tend to be better and I think animation is so underappreciated like like to me for him to say this is disrespectful to the animated shows because you're essentially saying that like it is it's not a valid medium for these shows to be like for for sure. it to be a proper TV show, it has to be live action, which is just not true. It's not true, but at the same time, too, I think about it like, like these are easier for the casual fans to indulge in. Yes, as well. So it's like, I I could definitely see them. I I could definitely want them to do something like that to then get the casual fans into it too, like a multi season thing. Like but that. to me, like, like there's. 
I, I feel like having these like eight episode series or six episode series is what brings the casual fans in. I think part of what like another reason besides it being animation that people don't want to watch the animated shows that are ca- a, a more casual fan is because there's so many episodes. <clears throat> Yeah, and I I, just, I think I've just seen people too like just not want to watch animation, which is fine. I mean, you know, you <clears throat> you have your own preferences. Like um, you know, yeah. But that that's just kind of what I'm trying to look from it as is mm-hmm. trying to get a casual fans into that type of stuff too. But you know, I I'm not just trying to discredit the animated either because yeah, I mean the animated stuff. Some like I mean the Bad Batch was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, obviously, Clone Wars is just phenomenal as well. Like it. It provides definitely top tier Star Wars. So, yeah, I, I get, I, just, I get, I get. I'm trying to, I get both point of views. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I think it's a cool idea, but it, I, like I said, I mean, I don't know the logistics. Obviously. I yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't see it working money wise. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what <laughs> for for it to please the yeah. people that it would be targeted towards. I don't think it would work because. The people that it's targeted towards would expect the highest quality possible. They want Jedi. They want they want all this stuff. Like, and it probably wouldn't please them anyway. So yeah, that's, I, that's I, a yeah, good point. I, I don't see it happening. Plus, like, I also, also don't know how much money they make off of these series either. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> but I, I just, to me, especially like after seeing what the Bad Batch did and what like the, the the season finale of clone wars because that's like all recent recent memory yeah uh, like dude star wars is so good in animation like it, it is it is made for animation to me because that's, yeah, it's very good you could just do so much more it's very good in animation so i don't know i i think that's going to be a forever discussion with star wars but probably will be because uh, we, we talked about this a little bit at the end of bad batch like i really hope and i think they will but i do hope they come out with a new show that is a proper tv show like they, it's 16 plus episodes a season multiple seasons of another animated series i think i think it's just what i think it's what star wars needs it's what the culture needs yes I don't know what it, it would be about. You literally make it about anything. I'd watch. Yeah, it. you could do whatever you want with it at that point. I don't care, but it's probably gonna be good. Exactly. Uh, okay. Sorry about that tangent, but I've felt like bringing it up. So let us know in the comments below what you thought of the Acolyte episode one and two, and also let us know what you think about this whole discussion that we just had. So, uh, and with that, we will catch you guys next week for another episode of the Acolyte. Goodbye. Goodbye.